What's going on? How are you guys today? Styrofoam delivery just came in Monday morning around 10 a.m. It was supposed to come last Wednesday because you know, when things come in on a Monday when we're trying to get orders out, it's just not that convenient, it gets in the way. I had to get more medium coolers in and we got about 10 pallets, but th this is nice and easy. These are lights, so you don't actually need a pallet jack or anything to move them. I'll just have the guys, you know, organize these against the wall later. And I think I'll have to order more, uh, more styrofoam this week just to be safe. I mean, you guys have been seeing that I've been kind of over everything, you know, the past few weeks, maybe even a few months. Uh, you know, uh, I think it was Monday of last week, we were working in the dark. And then just the rest of that week, you know, a couple things went wrong that like never happened. So you know, we had to pay that electrician about 1500 on Monday. On Tuesday, UPS didn't show up, which was horrible. Because then Wednesday I had to buy 500 more dollars worth of ice. We had to repack everything into uh, new cardboard boxes, add more ice to it. And then on uh, Thursday, extra ice did not come to get more orders out. So it was like two really weird scenarios where UPS didn't show up and then the ice company didn't show up, which is, I can't remember it ever happening in general, let alone you know, two occurrences in the same week. So, so it definitely threw me off a little bit. I was like, you know, I, it's just not worth dealing with this shit anymore. So I'm trying not to kill myself. You know, I'm doing like one, two or three hours of work every day down here. Sometimes more, sometimes less. Uh, so I'm gonna just fill the orders for the foods, organ supplements, naturals, Wi-Fi shielding, everything. And then uh, we'll see where everything's at. A couple exciting things are supposed to happen this week, but uh, maybe I'll save them as a surprise for next week if they actually happen. So I've only been here for about 20 minutes and I'm already sweating my guts out. Uh, not only did the lights go out last week, the AC also stopped working and the HVAC guy that I usually use has, uh, hasn't been coming. I've called him like four times to come. He hasn't showed up once. Uh, so I might have to find a different HVAC guy, but really never ends. So I'm gonna try to do the foods orders without becoming a pool of sweat. I also have the organ supplements and naturals orders to do, which aren't as much. We got the best bars, whey protein available on the foods website. We also have the salt, all the cooking fats, the beef towel, the pork lard, the lamb tallow, everything freshly made uh, within the past week. And I'm hoping by the end of this week, early next week, I can start selling you guys uh, the glass bottled water kefir. So definitely keep an eye out on frankiesfoods.com for that. I did want to apologize if you guys buy the cod liver oil. I order the wrong material label so what happens is I take it out of the freezer and it kind of like condensates and the label gets all wet but I'm gonna reorder a thousand labels redo all the jars so uh, just letting you guys know also if you ordered water kefir grains in the past two weeks I haven't sent them out yet I'm trying to just build up the culture so I can start uh, just getting the actual water kefir out to you guys so uh, thank you for being patient I'll try to get those out uh, by the end of this week. I just got out of the freezer finishing up the 30 orders that were placed yesterday on Sunday and the freezer is looking a little empty. I'm kind of worried about sourcing some products that are very very popular but let's hop in and show you guys. So the rest of my face freezes off. I don't break my arm opening this godforsaken door. So these are the rest of the orders that we're going to try to send out today. If not we'll finish them up on Tuesday. I'm looking a little barren over here. We ran out of lamb fat, some Wagyu fat. I'll try to get some of that stuff back in stock this week. Uh, the bigger issue is I'm completely out of beef heart and beef liver. There was a comment on yesterday's video, which was probably from a paid shill, but they were like, oh, well, you need a storefront to your business. I was like, well, first of all, that's completely ridiculous. Second of all, I can't even keep my basic products in stock, so, you know, the bigger element of the slaughterhouse isn't isn't just expanding it's making sure that i can keep the basics in stock and retain a decent customer base so we're still doing the two pound ground beef promo this week so if you place any order you'll get two pounds of free 8515 organic ground beef next week i think i'm going to try to do a best bar promotion if not we'll do it the following week we'll give away one of each flavor best bar uh, which are available on frankiesfreerangefoods.com. I can't really think of anything else today. If you guys didn't see yesterday's video, definitely check it out. Uh, you know, again, I, I really have been doing all of this for you guys. Um, I don't really enjoy that much of it, but if I can make 
uh, people happier and healthier, then uh, I'm willing to do it. So I think that'll wrap it up for today. I want to go get on my computer and uh, send some emails out, mainly ask uh, my purveyors if double check if they can get me some stuff. And uh, what I do sometimes is I say, hey, if I order like three or 4,000 pounds of it, can you get me it? And sometimes that'll give me a yes instead of a no, but then the issue is I have $10,000 worth of a product that's not moving that quickly in my freezer and I can't really afford to do that. So it's kind of like a double-edged sword on that end. I still didn't set up the computer downstairs. I still have to organize some stuff downstairs. Um, you know, the Wi-Fi shielding, silver fabric supposed to come in, the dehydrator supposed to come in, my new secret product supposed to come in. I'm supposed to get the rest of the enzyme stuff for you guys. So a lot of stuff supposed to happen. Uh, but, you know, running all these businesses by myself, having money tied up is just getting more and more difficult and too much of a headache with too many uncontrollable factors. We mentioned earlier, you know, UPS not showing up, uh, the ice not showing up. You know, the, the, the more I can put in my control, the easier it'll be. Uh, but you guys know where to find everything, frankdestapan.com. Uh, again, thank you guys for supporting me through all of this. And... Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. One important thing I forgot to mention in yesterday's video and almost forgot again today. Thankfully, one of my viewers emailed me saying, hey Frank, can we see the slaughterhouse? And I'm like, yeah, I mean, I was almost uncomfortable making that video yesterday because, you know, I didn't exactly show you guys what I was purchasing. Now the problem is I don't have a contract. I don't have a purchase agreement. You know, imagine going to a real estate open house and asking the owners of the house if you can film it and show it to your friends to see if they want to pay for it. You know, it's, I just was not comfortable even asking the guy if I can drive over there and film it. But I really, I really did want to ask him and do that to show you guys what I was getting involved with. Uh, you know, I think it would help a lot, but uh, I don't want to jeopardize the purchase of it by asking him that and making him uncomfortable because again, you know, he was going to sell it to someone else just last week. Uh, I don't know. There, there's downsides to everything, but either way, we'll see how things go over uh, the next few weeks.